Goldsmith here, and in this clip I'm talking to the creator of Uncle Roger, fantastic stand-up comic Nigel Ung, and putting it to him that he might in fact have a secret fear that he will one day be eclipsed by the magnificent success of his online creation. Let's find out. I'm hoping it pays off, you know, and, and it seems like it will, because when people follow my Instagram, uh, my Facebook, I sometimes post like a podcast clip and people consume it, people watch it, or a stand-up clip or my Insta stories show that I am my own person. So I think people aren't idiots and over time they'll see that, oh yeah, Nigel Ung is the creator of Uncle Roger, he's doing a show, Let, let's go watch him. That being said, my first tour, I want to have try to do something, I'll see if I can figure, it, figure this out, but hopefully Uncle Roger can open for me. He'll do 20 minutes and yes. then break and then I'll come up and do 50. So they, they get best of both worlds. They get to see Uncle Roger and then they leave saying, oh, Nigel Ung is pretty funny too. So is, the fear, is the fear that you will have to open for Uncle Roger? Oh yeah, there's a little bit of that. <laughs> I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think I'll ever let that happen. To be but that's you know that's it. I, I think of Steve Coogan who called one of his tours years ago. Steve Coogan presents Alan Partridge and other less successful characters. Do you know what I mean? Because he knew <laughs> we were there for Partridge, right? So yeah. that's. I mean, I, I guess that's somewhere on your mind. You know, it's it's. It's unlikely, is it? Well, is it? Is it unlikely that you, as Nigel Ung, will do some stand up that eclipses that initial 18 million mega viral video? Or will that always be like if you die in a plane crash, is it Uncle mm -hmm. Roger dies? <laughs> or is it Nigel Ung, creator of Uncle Roger? Uh, honestly, that if I die in a plane crash, I don't really care how they reply. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, but. I honestly, I don't really mind, you know, when I, when I was in a, I was involved in a, I got punched and I think it was a hate crime and that got covered by a lot of news articles and yeah. uh, people, a lot of articles, the headline was like, Uncle Roger punched in hate crime. Mm -hmm. And I, I get that because that will get people to click. I get that. And it, it doesn't really bother me when people come up to me and they say, oh, are you, are you Uncle Roger? Some of them will say, oh, are you Nigel Ung? But that's okay. But they come out to me and say, are you Uncle Roger? I, I still don't really mind because it's still my creation. It's always nice to perform in a venue that looks and feels like a really oversubscribed one of those puzzle room escape games. 